What's up guys? Day five, we are hitting shoulders. Before you get the right to work out today though, you've got to do your low plank Superman combo. After you get that done, three sets, we're going right into shoulders. So Renee's going to go ahead and sit all the way back. We're going to do a reverse or a backwards dumbbell shoulder press. So she's going to start with both her arms extended, so all the way up. So we got elbows bent just slightly. So we got tension in your shoulders constantly. So she's going to drop one arm, press, and then drop the other arm, and press. And that's one. She's going to 12. She's going to do 12 on each side. We're doing three sets. 12 reps of that, rest 30 seconds, 12 reps, rest 30 seconds, 12 reps. Good, and then we're going right into L raises. So L raises are a great way, you see people at the gym spend time doing just lateral raises or just front raises. We're gonna do both at the same time, save you time, get you in and out of the gym. So L raises, you're going one to the front, one to the side. Elbows slightly bent, and then you're gonna switch. One to the front, one to the side. Legs come in front of her so she, they can see. Oh, they can see you. Good. And that tempo is really good. You see, she's doing like an isometric hold at the top. She probably doesn't even realize it, but she's been trained so good over the years that she's got that little isometric hold at the top, which is really good. Um, also, another, another tip for when you do side raises, if you actually start the weight here, then you have constant tension in your delts. When you bring it to your side, you rest it. So if you can actually stop the weight at about 10%, switch 10 percent you'll have constant flexion in your shoulders they're going to burn a lot more you're going to get a lot more out of the movement so do that with at, at about 10 percent tell me if you feel the difference so go ahead and do your raise the l raise don't go all the way down but close now switch way harder right now might mean you have to lighten your weight but that's okay all right so after you do l raises you're going to drop one you can just use one you can either use a plate for this you can use a dumbbell we're going to do figure eights so your arms Extended, you're just going to do a big eight right in front of you. And what I see a lot of people do on this movement is actually rotate their trunk. We don't want that. We want everything steady. You're just moving your arms. You're going to feel this in your core a little bit, but you're really going to feel it all over your shoulders, right? Okay, good. Next, um, one thing I don't put in my shoulder workouts is upright rows. And the reason for that is it's not a good position for your shoulder to be in. Anytime you have elevation and internal rotation, your humerus has a little ball on the top. This bone that runs right in your arm has a little ball on the top of it. And when you elevate and then internally rotate, that ball presses on all the things that ro run through that shoulder joint. So you may not feel pain immediately, but it's like fraying a rope and over time you can get, have real bad shoulder injuries. So you won't see any kind of upright rows in any programs I design. What I do is we do W raises. So Renee, those might be a little heavy for a W raise, but we'll see. <laughs> so you're just gonna have your elbows slightly bent and you're gonna go from here out, externally rotate your shoulders and make a W. So now externally rotating our shoulders is okay, but we don't have elevation and internal rotation, right? So this is a safe movement for your shoulders. Good, and that's perfect. And then we're hitting, we're still hitting the medial head of that shoulder, so good. All right, um, next. After you do three sets of 12, we're going to move on to working your rotator cuff. Most people, most programs, oh, actually I've never seen a program that actually has rotator cuff work built into it and it's so important to keeping you uh, healthy. So we're working in some rotator cuff work in all your shoulder exercises. So we're going to do a banded rotator cuff walkout. And what you're going to do is, if your right shoulder is towards the, wherever you got the band hooked up, you're going to put it in the opposite hand. So we're going to put it in our left hand. You're going to keep your elbow close to your side, and you're going to try to keep, Lexi, come over here, go right here, come even more. Where? Yeah, because I want them to see her hand. Okay. So we want her hand to stay right in line with her elbow. We don't want her hand to drift in. If her hand drifts in, she's got too much weight. So we're going to keep it right there. She's going to feel this deep inside her shoulder, not on the outside, but deep in the shoulder joint in the rotator cuff. So all she's going to do is take a, a, a step to the side and a step back. And you can see her hand went in. I want her hand to stay right here. Wrist right in line with the elbow. And then back, and then out, and then back. So one step out, one step in is one rep. You're gonna do 12 reps on the left, 12 on the right. You don't need to rest on these. 
Just go back and forth. This isn't an exhaustive exercise, but you'll, f- <laughs> you'll feel it deep in your shoulder. That would have been awesome if you would fall. No. All right. And then, <laughs> so the last shoulder move, we're also, we're still working the rotator cuff. We're gonna do external shoulder rotations with the band. So you're gonna take your palms up, arms straight, and you're just gonna extend that maybe too close, maybe hard. Good, pull straight back, and then come in. Good, so legs come around here, show mom's back. Nope, come here, this way, <laughs> this way. Okay, so go ahead and pull. So we're squeezing right here. So we're working external shoulder rotation all day. You guys are sitting at desks, you're protracted, you're bent over, you're not opened up. This is a really good exercise, it's gonna take care of your shoulders. And you're gonna do three sets of 12 on that. Good, relax. That's it, that's shoulder workout.